All right, here we go. Let's wrap up the chapter here. We're going to end this with modeling with inequalities. Uh, speaking of models, there's Ryan Gosling modeling an inequalities t-shirt. Probably the coolest t-shirt I've ever seen. Well played. Cover of GQ. That's where math needs to be. Let's do some modeling. So we're not going to do that kind of modeling. We're going to do modeling of situations. So we've actually done this before with equations. So check this out. Remember back with Mr. Sullivan? We're saying we're going to try to translate this into a word problem. So we remember sum means add. So the sum of a number in 6 is negative 12. So as I read, I just kind of write it down. The sum means add. So the sum of some number n plus 6 is negative 12. You guys rocked this, crushed it. You're good to go. What's the difference now? We're just going to change it to an inequality. So instead of an equation, we're going to put like a symbol in there for greater than or less than. So I have the same problem here, the sum of a number in 6. But the difference here is it's less than negative 12. So do the same exact thing, the sum of a number in 6, but less than. So I'm going to put a less than sign, negative 12. I want all the numbers less than, not equal to. So it's a little bit different, same kind of stuff. Let's hook it up with some key words. So there's some words and phrases to help you out for each symbol. So I've kind of got my greater than. Uh, greater than or equal to, less than, and less than or equal to. So some things to help you out here. Check this out. If I see words like more than, obviously greater than is going to be greater than, larger than or above, that means everything greater than. If I see things like at least, and that is the tricky one. This is the one that trips people up, at least, or not less than, or the minimum. Something like, hey man, I have at least $20 in my pocket would be something like this. I have at least $20. It could be a $20 bill. It could be more. I don't know. But I've got at least 20 bucks in there. Uh, now, less than, I put these in blue to show the difference. Ooh. Less than, smaller than, below. Obviously, less than is less than. And then the final one here is less than or equal to. And again, the tricky one for this is at most. Let's say I know I have at most $20 in my pocket. It could, it's going to be less than $20 but also equal to $20. 20 is not more than. That's kind of tricky too. 20 is not more than 20. Um, and 20 is not less than 20. So those can be a little bit tricky. Do you include the equal sign or not? Um, just try to plug it in and see if it works. All right, let's do a couple examples. Make sure we're cool here. Let's start off with French Club. French Club here is raffling off this uh, basket of French goodies. Ooh, ooh, ooh la la. Uh, well, that was rough. I apologize for that. Uh, they're selling tickets for $2 each. The club has spent $20 to make this basket of goodies. They want to make more than, so again, here is the key. They want to make more than $200. So they don't want to make $200. They need to make more than, they're going to buy some French berets or something. I'm not sure. So here's the bag of goodies. They got some French fries, maybe some French dressing and a baguette. That is, that is authentic France right there. I th just screaming French. Uh, so can we write the word problem here? Sure, they're going to make $2 per ticket. So I'm going to do something like this. I make $2 per ticket, but do I gain this $20 or do I lose it? They, they actually spin it, so they're going to lose $20. They have to spend 20 bucks on the French dressing and the baguette and all that good stuff. Uh, and I don't want to equal, if this was an equation, it would equal $200, but I need to make more than $200. So all I'm going to do is something like this. So $2 per ticket, I lost $20 to... To make to buy the goods, but I'm going to make more than $200. So it's kind of like a running total of my money. Pretty cool. Awesome. Let's bring this over here. And let's talk about Mr. Kelly. Mr. Kelly's having a math day party. Classic math day party. Uh, he can spend no more than $300. So he only has $300. So no more than $300. So he uh, is going to spend $25 to buy some Coca-Cola Classics. And he wants to buy as many $10 pizzas as he can. How many pizzas can he buy? So this one's a little bit different. This one's like a running total. So Mr. Kelly has spent what? He spent $25 so far at Coca-Cola Classics. Um, he can spend no more than $300 on total, but he's going to spend $10 per pizza. So something like this. So I spent $25, or Mr. Kelly spent $25. He spends $10 per pizza. He cannot go above $300. So look at the little difference here. It's got to be less than $300. It could also be $300 because $300 is not more than $300, if that makes any sense there. It's kind of weird, but $300 is Coolio here because it's not more than it. So there's my equation for that where P is the number of pizza, uh, and then he can have his math day party. Got to do math for your math day party. All right, let's wrap it up and bring the paint. So those, we were just writing them. Now let's actually write them and solve them and do everything we can do with them. That's why I wrote bring the paint here. 
Let's talk about Sullivan, Mr. Sullivan. So he has 12 followers on Insta. He gets four new followers a day. How long until he has at least 100 followers? So the key here is at least. So what does he start with? He starts with 12 followers on Insta. He gets four new followers per day. So he gets four per day. And then how long to have at least? So to be at least 100, it can be bigger than 100. It can also be equal to 100. 100 is at least 100. Awesome. Now here I'm going to make you do a little more work. Variable and what it represents. Like define, you, Mr. Kelly called this define your variables. What does D stand for? D is what? The number of days. So there it is right there. It's the number of days uh, he's getting those followers on Insta. Can I solve it? Can I get the solution? Sure. Now we're actually going to take time. We're going to solve this bad boy. So subtract your 12 from both sides. Uh, cancel that out. So this is going to be greater than, what is that, 88 I think? Whew, a little mental math right there. And solve this for the number of days. We're going to divide by 4. So the solution is going to be what? Divide by 4, we get uh, D is greater than or equal to 22. So can we graph that? Let's come over here and can we graph the solution set? This is going to be super rough. I just kind of like to have some reference to 0. And then what number are we talking about? We're talking about 22. So uh, I'm doing this so I can see the answers. It can be 22, so I'm going to do a solid dot, and I'm going to shade all the numbers bigger than 22. So nothing fancy there. Let's just kind of graph it, just to have a rough idea of where my answers are. Any day over 22. That's what the last part means, is now make it a sentence. Can you explain that solution? So um, for him to get 100 followers, that will happen in 22 or more days. Somehow uh, saying rep, just kind of writing out what that inequality is. So he will get 100 followers in 22 or more days. So you're just kind of writing a sentence explaining that solution set, putting it in context with a label of days or whatever the word problem happens to be. Fantastic. That is it. Good luck on the practice. I hope you rock out on the mesh check. Peace out.